Hello, this is John Dresset, and this is an introduction to the Time Card Approval System Manager Dashboard. This feature is available for managers and supervisors to use to view the time card status for their employees. Inside the dashboard, you can see the approved time cards, the unapproved time cards, and the pending edits. In addition, you can also reassign the alerts to go to various people within your uh, management hierarchy. So when you first log into the dashboard, this is how it looks. Now you notice that uh, the columns don't quite align right here, and actually if you zoom with your your browser, if you zoom out a little bit, it'll actually make things line up a lot nicer, and if you keep going out, you'll see how it gets a nice square display here. So that's an option. You can use your control key on your keyboard combined with your mouse wheel and zoom in and out. It helps the display look a little bit better. I'm going to keep it at a pretty high resolution here so it's clear for the video. So over here in the left column we have the approved time cards. In the middle, the unapproved time cards. These are these are the ones you want to focus on. It shows the period that the time card is for. So you can see we got a pretty old one right here with Christina Gonzalez. And then over here we have the pending edits list. So instead of going through all those emails that you get in your email account, you could just run down through this list. It might be a little bit easier. Eventually this is going to be sorted by employees, so it'll be even easier for you to make your way through. Now on the bottom half of the screen, we have the alert assignments. You can see down here we have the whole list of employees for this manager. And I'm going to run an example with lot 4300. So to switch an assignment, like for example the one that's currently going here to Clinton, you need to go through a couple of steps to filter in on the lot, the manager that you're going to be switching from, and the manager or supervisor that you're going to be switching to. So let's select 4300. Alright, so I have 4300 selected. And now I'm going to select only the employees that are currently reporting to Anna Luna. I think Maria Garcia would be an example. So I select Anna Luna. for the system to update. And now I see that group of employees. Now what I want to do now is reassign these over to Clinton Becton. So I select Clinton as the assigned to. With that selected, then I highlight the employees that I want to switch. So I could choose all of them. For this example, I'm going to just choose the first one here, Maria Garcia. And you'll notice this Assign button at the bottom. Click that. And the assignments will get made. The system is taking a little while to get through this process, and we will get that sped up as we go along in the future. so it's almost finished. Okay, so now if we go back down to the bottom of the screen, we'll see that Maria Garcia is now reporting to Clinton. And where'd she go? There she is. And there is the assignment. So that's the way the assignments work. You can go ahead and switch them. It's a little bit cumbersome because you have to filter in by lot and then by manager. I recognize that that will take a little while for somebody to step through a lot, uh, a long list of lots. And we'll see if we can improve that functionality in the future. But when we originally designed this, we saw some implications of having it kind of be a free-for-all. And so we went with this kind of an approach. All right, so one other thing that I wanted to show you is the way the screen looks for a supervisor. In this case I'm actually logged in as B. Yang and he's a manager and so there's there's no time card display in his account. When he logs in he only sees this dashboard. If you're a supervisor, and in this case I have Robert Roach set up as a supervisor for as an example, you'll see when he logs in it first displays the dashboard but it also gives him this go to time card button right here and by clicking that 
it'll go to his time card, but I had taken too long with his video and it had timed out on me. So I'm going to log back in as him. Alright, so here's the go to time card button that I was talking about. Let's let the system finish. Alright, click on that. You know, see that takes him to the time card. So that, this way he can, as a supervisor who's hourly, they can uh, make edits to their, or request edits to their punches and approve their time cards. Clicking the button takes you back to the dashboard. And the dashboard is redisplayed on the screen. So that was a little introduction to the time card approval systems manager dashboard. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.